Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a timer. I'm gonna break it. I'm set a timer for five minutes and we'll do a share screen and we'll create a scene together. And I'll show you how that process works. I'm in chapter 21. So you should be able to see that. And what's happening is Jet has to go do this interview and there's a bunch of protesters outside the entrance to the place. So she's heard some news that maybe this guy is a bad guy, but right now we're just gonna write a section where she is driving in and she passed a bunch of protesters. And what I'm gonna do is try to say, okay, if I was driving a car onto so it's a, like a zoo or a wild, wild uh, game preserve kind of thing, it's in Florida, so it's, it's more like an amusement park attraction kind of thing. She's going in the main drive and there's a bunch of protesters. So if I was driving my car through that situation, what would I see? And that's what I'm gonna try to write, okay? So she's been warned, hey, maybe be careful. So, and if I'm doing this right, you'll be able to see what I write. All right, my timer is going to go off, so I'll just go ahead and cancel it. And that's all I got done in about five minutes, and you can see I can go through and 
do some editing. Um, yeah, editing. Uh, that's kind of the process. So, so what is she seeing now? What I'll do is I'll say, okay, how are they dressed? Are they wearing jeans? It's summertime. It's hot, so maybe they're sweating. I'm gonna say some sweat stains under some of these people. Maybe their hair is matted down because they've been out in the Florida humidity um, doing their thing. Maybe they're hostile to her as she drives up and then she maybe flashes her media credentials and they maybe they are nice then and maybe they aren't. And then finally, um, somehow I think they're going to, uh, so uh, uh, does she, do they part and let her get through or do they block or like, you shouldn't be supporting this. And maybe she barters her way through saying, I'm going to get both sides of the story. You know me, I'm a fair journalist. And then maybe they give a crap for that. You know, you're a corporate journalist, you're, you're bought and paid for. Um, so eventually she'll talk her way to get her car to get onto the property. I'm thinking maybe she'll promise to come talk to these people and get their side of it. And for that, they let her through. But one thing about storytelling is, um, forgive me, I forget who said it, uh, put your, I think it's Chekhov, maybe not, probably not Chekhov, not, not Bobulka, I could find out, but anyway, says, put your characters up a tree and then throw rocks at them. So if she can just drive onto the property, that's not very interesting. Tension and conflict drive the story. So the fact that she's thinking about going and doing this interview, and now it's not even easy to get onto the property and do it, and there'll be a little tension, maybe to throw some stuff at her car or bang on her windows or whatever. I mean, honestly, if you have to drive to an angry mob, that right there would give you tension. It would make the normal person maybe their heart go a little faster. Um, so maybe that's an element to bring in and I'll, I'll portray it that way. But this is like, you can see five minutes, I didn't get very much written, three paragraphs and they're small paragraphs. Uh, it's only um, 100, 109 words, but that's like an outline. And then I'll go through it after I get the scene out of my head and onto the page, then I'll go through again. It's 1.30, maybe it takes me an hour to get the scene down. And then I'll um, go through and I'll say, okay, let's put some meat on those bones, fatten it out, trim it here and there. How much, how much of an obstacle do I really want this to be? How much time in the store do I really want this to take up? Because we're really interested in her going and doing that interview with the guy that she thinks may now um, be a killer and trying to find out is he a hero or a killer. Um, so it could be that the audience is waiting to read that and this is frustrating to deal with this before that or it could be here's the thing look but you got to go through this first and maybe that um drags off the tension i'll know that i'm, I'm going to write it with the protester blocking her and making it take longer to get the reader to get to the interview they want to they want to see then i'm going to write my finish my book when i come back I'll have rested a couple of weeks before I read any of this as a, as once the draft is completed. When I get to this section, I'll be as close to a new reader as I can because I know what's coming anyway. And if I think it's frustrating and boring and slows down the pace of the book, I'll trim it. It'll become two or three sentences of the angry mob yelled and blah, blah, blah as she drove by or but they parted ways and left her onto the property or a couple of sentences instead of what might end up being uh, maybe 500 words. It could be, be three sentences of less than 100 words. Well, no, not even 100. Maybe three sentences of totaling 25 or 50 words. Um, not even that high. Or, or you know, 500. If it if I think it slows the pace, I'll I'll cut it down. But you've got to put it in before you can cut it. All right, that's it for now. <laughs>